Alrighty, we're here. Sterling Mine. Look at this, I got all these old wheels out front. There's no one behind me, so I'm gonna stop here for a second. This is the entrance we're pulling up to the Sterling Mine. Oh, I'm so excited for this, y'all. Ah, uh, let's get in there. This is gonna be awesome. Stoked. Okay, two things. I thought there was gonna be a ton of people here for their Memorial Day event. Um, there's like six cars here, so very surprised about that. Second, it's very windy outside, so I'm gonna grab my microphone and hopefully that'll cut back on the wind. But, oh my gosh, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna share this one. It's a fossil, it's got trailer bites in it. Um, there's a small section of a trailer bite right there, right under my thumb. And there's a couple more little ones that I found in here. I don't know, I don't have any trailer bites. I might hold on to that and see if we find anything better. They charge by the pound and that's a couple pounds. But it's like two dollars a pound, so we'll see. And then these ones are super, super glowy in the black light. I'll show you. So here's a peek at some of the rock piles. This is the rock yard. You can take anything out of here. They charge like two dollars a pound. Up by the door there's a stack of core samples. A little bit of core samples mixed all through. Um, yeah, lots of stuff to look through. Alrighty, a little peek in the UV shed. A little something, something. It's a big one. Down here, some little chunks sitting around. Ooh, that one's green. Check that out. <laughs> that one's super green. Oh, that one's really deep red. Wow. The camera's brightening it up, but it's actually darker than that. That one is super green. Wow. That's a nice chunk. Ooh. Whoa. Green, blue, orange. Wow. I don't know if these ones are left from someone or for anyone to take. They're just sitting here on the shelf. I'll have to go ask if these are ones that anyone can take. It says, please don't leave rocks in the shed on the sign here. So I don't know. Assuming they don't want any of this in the shed because they have to reorganize it and put it back out in the yard later. I've got a very big solid chunk of calcite. It's got a nice glow in the UV. Let me show you this one real quick in the dark shed. So this one comes in at about nine pounds. Being this rock is gonna be $18 if I want to take it home. Holy cow. Well, the camera's flooding it, but it's a little more red than orange. Ah, that's a crazy one. All right, we'll be back. So here we've got a bunch of Mining bits, okay. oilers, all the mining gear. Oh, so cool. Okay. Take a little peek at some of this. <laughs> Just check out a couple things here. Again, y'all have to come check it out for yourself. Can't film it all, but we can show a few things. Look at the other, oh my gosh. Giant orthoceras and crinoids. What? That's huge. Like. You see how large this is. <laughs> Crazy. So, she did tell us it's the Auric family, you know, like Auric Vacuums. That's who donated the mineral collection. Um, but yeah, really cool. Oh my goodness. Smith the Knight. From Namibia. Ooh. Malachites. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. 
show you a whole bunch of that real quick. That's awesome. Some copper azurite malachite from Arizona. We've got some of that. It's more like that. Some nice fluorites. Just so much to look at. I can't wait to come back here next time to spend a little more time. Showers here. This is the shower wall. Crazy. Ooh, some big old trilobites. Look at those. Wow. Huge amethyst. Mine carts. Big old T Rex. Native copper, native silver. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about it. All those chunks I found in Utah that were kind of lead and smushy. Maybe I should have brought home. It looked exactly like that too. Oh, Ooh, and then the gold. Look at that chunk, wow. The display was all fool's gold on the left and real gold on the right. So, oh, that's a big stain the night. Uh, this is the lockers. Some of these were actually the miners' lockers at one point, and they're now like donators to the museum and stuff. Wow. Some insane pieces in here. You can all make it. I highly encourage coming. They've got pieces from all around the world. I'm hopefully not showing too much. They asked me not to show too much. So I'm intentionally trying to show a little more than other channels have, but I can't show everything. So as I previously mentioned, um, one lady had said not to show too much and don't film a lot and I asked the reason for that and she said because they don't really want families being in the videos and stuff and I didn't really think much about that and I left thinking like okay I can't really film too much here but then I asked the tour guide actually asked two of the different tour guides and they both said it's totally fine to film whatever you want so uh, I was really being conservative at what I filmed up to this point when I then asked the tour guide and then I was like okay so it's cool to film stuff she's like yeah why would you not I was like okay cool so green light I'm going to start filming a bunch more <laughs> cobalt silver or cobalt city cobalt the silver city okay so it's cobalt sil silver from cobalt city <laughs> Whoa, that one's sweet. Um, beautiful silver ore. More native copper. That's pretty wild looking. Alright, I think we're about to be headed into the mine pretty soon here. Check out that gypsum. That's unreal. Hit it with my UV, see if there's any glow. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I 
Interesting. <laughs> There's a crystal of Willamite. Look at that. That's what we need to find. Willamite crystal. That's very cool. Oh man. Yeah, that's what I want. I want some Willamette crystals. Big chunks like that. When we come back, we'll look harder in the dig pile for that. Three specimens of unusually well-developed Willamette crystals and white calcite. So cool. Valerie Angelina. It's a pretty one. So because it was pretty noisy in the museum with all the kids and uh, she was giving little speeches and talking about stuff, it just you know, seemed like a better decision to mute it from all the noisy parts here and we'll listen to some music and look at these pretty, pretty specimens. But only some of them. You'll have to go visit if you want to see it all. Like seriously, the tour takes two hours and the first hour you spend looking at all the minerals here and the second hour you go into the mine. And it flew by, it didn't even feel like an hour in here. I did not get to see everything and I definitely did not show you near everything.
holy cow. Oh my gosh, look at this picture of Ocean Jasper. <gasps> that definitely belongs in this museum. That one's insane. Oh wow. All right, we're getting ready to take off on the museum tour. Last little peek at a few more goodies there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take off, get headed on the tour now. It was a little bit tricky to get the camera to really want to show all the stuff in the UV really well for this room. I have a lot of respect for the people who took pictures of this that you can see online with all the color. But more on that next time. That's right, this is going to be a two-parter. I got 10 times more footage than I had planned for y'all, and we got out of here with 7% battery left. So I'm going to get to my car, I'm going to plug in, I'm going to show you what else I just bought in the gift shop because I could not resist and I broke my own rules and I bought stuff for you. Uh, you being my Patreon members, those who made this possible for me, my awesome donators who bought so much stuff the last few weeks that I was able to afford new tires and afford getting out here. So big, big, big thank you to all of you. You know who you are. You're Jeff. Lisa, we've got Wildheart. She's Jeff and Wildheart went crazy on my recent sales, and I appreciate that a lot. Julie, uh, LXR, we've had a few new ones. Uh, Gems of Hope joined in. Um, oh my gosh, I'm spacing. I, I should, you know what? Right here. I'm too excited from just getting out of the mine still, and I'm walking back and forth and pacing. I can't wait to get home and show y'all everything I found. So again, thank you to my Patreon members. Thank you to all my followers and watchers. And thanks to all the new people who might be watching who I met today. I gave out a lot of my stickers to a lot of kids, a lot of families. So if you're new to watching my channel, hi there. I'm Chris, aka Rufo Tris, Rooted Rock Hound. And I hope to see you on some more future adventures. Till next time, have a good one.